In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a scrolling background using Scratch 3. As you can see on your screen right now, we've got an example of what the finished product is going to look like. It's just a starry night sky image on an endless loop, and it's just constantly moving down the page. Okay, so let's get started on making this. Uh, before you do get started, you will need to get a copy of this starry night sky. If you're in my class, I'll give you a copy. If you're not though, there will be a link in the description of the video to get your hands on this image. So, let's load up Scratch. Okay, make a new file in Scratch. You can use the desktop version or the online version, both are the same. And the first thing I want you to do is just delete the orange cat from your game by going down to the sprite list and just hitting the trash can to trash him. Now, we want to bring in that starry night sky next. So, instead of bringing it in as a backdrop like you'd expect, we're actually going to bring it in as a sprite today. So go down to the sprite list from that blue button at the bottom, scroll up to the top and select the upload sprite option and choose that starry night sky background that you um, have downloaded. Now the first thing that I notice when I bring it in is that it's not centered perfectly in my game screen or on the stage. So we can actually fix that with code by simply going to our events tab first of all and bringing out when the green flag is clicked. That just says when our game is started. What do we want this background image to do? So I'm going to go to the Motion tab and change its coordinates. I'm going to bring out the one that says Go to X and Y, and I'm going to set both the X and Y values to zero. The reason that I do that is because our stage or our game window is made up like a Cartesian plane. It's got a Y axis that runs down the middle vertically, and it's got an X axis that runs through the middle there horizontally. The coordinate zero zero are what you need to put in to get your image smack bang in the center of the page. Okay, so we've got 0, 0 in for our coordinates when we press that green flag. And just watch closely, you'll see that this moves when I press the green flag right into the center of the page. So it fills up our game screen quite nicely. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to get this image scrolling down the page. Okay, so we're going to start in this position and we're going to tell the computer to basically move it straight down the Y axis. And when it hits the bottom of the screen, so roughly about there, it's going to loop back around to where it started from, and it's going to go all over again. It's going to keep working its way down the Y axis till it gets to the bottom of the page, and just keep looping itself around and around until our game ends. Okay, so to do that, we're going to need to use an if statement. And what that if statement is going to say is it's going to check the Y value or the position on the Y axis of this starry night sky. And when the top of our image hits the bottom of the page, we're going to stop it from moving, okay, and move it back around to the starting position. Okay, so let's code this up. We're first of all going to go to the control tab and bring out an if then else statement. Okay, and the first part's going to be saying if our Y position is greater than minus 340. That's basically when the top of our image hits the bottom of the page. So if the Y position of this image hits the bottom of the page, oh sorry, if it's not at the bottom of the page yet, that's what this line's saying. So if our Y position is greater than the bottom of the page, so that means we're still up here somewhere, then what do we want to do? Well, we want to make it move down the page. So we're going to change its Y value by minus 3. Okay, let me explain that to you. So changing the Y value by minus 3 is going to move it down the page three steps at a time. Okay, if we had positive 3, it would move it up the page three steps at a time. Okay, so we definitely want that Y value to be minus 3 there. Okay, and we've got an else statement here. So that means what else do we do if this is not greater than minus 340 on our y-axis. So that means basically what happens when it hits the bottom of the page. Well, we're going to move it again. So we're going to go to our coordinates here, go to x and y. We're going to set it to 0 for the x-axis. So it's still going to be positioned in the middle of the page horizontally. And vertically, we're going to put it at the coordinates 345, which actually move it way up the top of the page. So it's going to be pretty much outside of the screen, ready to move back down the page. Okay, so that's about it. If we were to snap that in here and run it, just watch quickly, nothing happens. 
Okay, and the reason nothing is happening is because we need to wrap it up in a forever loop. We want this section of code here to be running forever. While our game is running, we want this code running. So wrap it up inside a forever loop. Okay, and that will always have our um, stars moving down the screen. Let's try that. There we go. So we've got a scrolling background. When it hits the bottom of the page, which is the minus 340 for the Y axis, it quickly loops back around to the start and starts scrolling down the page all over again. Okay, you probably noticed an issue though. There's a big white gap here. Okay, how are we going to fix that? Well, we're simply going to clone this image of the starry night sky and put a second one in. So we're going to have two starry backgrounds there moving through on an endless loop. One of them will be in this big white space and the other one just behind it ready to come in and take its spot so we can't see any of that white background. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a clone of this background. So we're going to need to go down in the control tab here to create a clone of myself. And we're going to put that way up the top here under the green flag. It's the first thing we do. So when we start our game, we quickly make a copy of this starry background. So we're going to have two of them on the screen. And then we're going to bring out a second chunk of code that says, when I start as clone. So this is basically coding up the second image of the starry night sky. Okay, now we're going to go to motion first of all. And actually, I might even cheat here. Let's just duplicate all of this code. So right click on this blue one here that says um, go to zero, zero, and right, right click, duplicate. And that's going to copy everything beneath it. Let's put it over here, because we're not going to need to change much. All we're going to do is change its starting position. Instead of starting in the middle of the page, we're going to start it on 345 for the Y axis, which is just above our stage. Okay, so it's basically coming in behind this original copy of the background. Now apart from that, the rest of our code is the same. So if we run this, we've got both images coming in one after the other and moving down the page. And that's it, you've just made yourself a scrolling background with pretty simple code. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here. This is the first part of a series of tutorials in making a um, space shooter game. Okay, so this is the first step. In our next video, we're going to bring in a spaceship that we can actually move around on the screen. So until then, um, good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.